All right, you guys, we're back with part two. If you missed part one of these yard sale adventures with TJ, I will link it right here. But we hit up so many yard sales at this community yard sale that I decided to split it into two videos. This one I think might be the more exciting of the two because we found a lot of really good stuff for a really good price. And also a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. All right, without any further delays, let's get right back into it. What's that? <laughs> no, but I, it just seems fun to play with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. That's cool though. Okay. Yeah, because it, it's for like you. So you just shove it in the cracks of the rock yeah. and hope it holds you. Oh, wow. Cross your fingers. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is it for, for a buck or? Yeah. You just... just oh, thank you. Well, that's <laughs> nice. I know there was like a, another one was in there and I think my husband threw it away. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's great. Thank you. Can Fun. You need to hold a cell phone now. Yeah. Are the prices negotiable on these, or um, you're pretty firm on them? These ones, no. These ones, yeah. These, okay. These are like two hundred dollars hiking boots, and these are like a hundred dollars, and they're like very like lightly used. Sure. No I worries. Know, like I totally socks. get it. Oh uh, no. There. How about for the socks? Any leeway on that? If I got how much? They're stand socks. Yeah. Would you do both for like seven bucks? Sure. Okay, great. I have that. Perfect. Do you have that? Do you have, you have change, right? My buddy works for stand socks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He loves it. Well, it's a good nice. company. They're nice socks. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank so you much. so much. Have a good one. Stance socks. She did sell these to me for $7 for both of them. Stance is a really nice brand. The fact that it's like Marvel and themed with, I think this is Venom. I don't know. TJ is not into Marvel. I, I couldn't tell. This you. is Venom, the villain from something. I, we, we should know, but we don't. I have these logged together and I'm selling them on eBay for like $35. So hopefully I get some bites. They retail for 20 bucks each, so we'll see. Everyone I think they're more eclectic. Everyone who has stance loves stance. Yeah, at this yard sale, she had a price tag of $40 on the Sorrells, which as you guys saw earlier, I got those for $5 at a different yard sale, a better pair actually. And those are the Joplin ankle boots. Those sell on eBay for $50 maybe. 40 to 50 on eBay maybe. So if someone's charging $40 at the yard sale for something, I want a return policy, I want a warranty, like I want their name, number, email. Do what you want, but I just, I don't know. Sometimes I, I'm curious about that. See, I don't see why someone would go to a yard sale and pay those prices when they could go online, buy it on eBay, have returns as an option, have buyer protection, right? Okay, I might cut that out. I don't want to be like mean. Yeah, you're fine. But I feel like that's the honest truth. Oh. This guy works for Shake. What do you think? I think they're couponers. Oh. For what? Calvin? Calvin needs this. He'll, yeah. he'll love it. All right. What is the I what Minecraft? I I peen Minecraft. I'm gonna get a few of these I, for the kids. I pinto bean Minecraft. 15 and then and then six dollars, so it's 21. And then you said two in the shoes, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, thank, thank you, so, you much. so much. So this next yard sale, the well, music was really loud, so I had to like mute parts of it. But at this yard sale, I found these Haglofts. This is like an outdoor brand. These are great. Definitely be on the lookout for it. These will sell for $50 at least, maybe 50 to 75. I do need to just wipe them down, but it's like an outdoor hiking, climbing shoe. Using Goo Gone really works well to get all of this off. And if future Ashley is on the ball, she'll have it cleaned and a picture here to show you. And also just some women's Keen boots. Keen is a great brand. I love picking up Keen. Doesn't quite sell as fast as it once did, but these are in really clean condition. Shearling lined boots. These should do great. Maybe 40 bucks. Keen was also cool. Windows 3.1 video game. Was, was it? FYI. Keen? Keen. 
What was the game? It was just awesome. He goes around and like solves puzzles. I feel like it's good to ask ahead of time. It is good. No, I appreciate it. God. Then they just give a blanket answer instead of picking. You know, that's a good point. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this portion of my video. If you guys have been following along, you know that I love Skillshare. I've used it to hone my skills with Final Cut Pro. I've taken courses on Procreate for the iPad. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can take any number of classes on any topic you're interested in. Design, business, productivity, you name it, they have it. And like I said, I've just loved honing my skills with Final Cut Pro, taking a lot of courses for YouTubers, editing for YouTubers. I do edit all my own videos myself and so it's been really handy to watch these courses and feel like I'm growing and learning as I go. Right now, Skillshare has an offer for the first thousand people who click the link in my description below. They'll get a free month of Skillshare membership. So you can take any of these classes risk-free, try it out for a month, see if you like it, and I think you really will. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, and now let's get back into it. This is the way to do it. Hey, Teach, will you be my... Oh, you're asking about prices. Okay. Is that good? Yes. What? Uh -uh. No. Darn. So these aren't... I'll take the case. These, this, this. Hold on to it for me. She said she would do 18. Yeah. 18. That's for great. Mm -hmm. But I'm still shopping. Is that cool? Good morning. Hi. Hi. They give you a price on these. It's Are you doing two depending on the weather? Okay, one or two. That's yeah. good. So what were we at? That was uh, 18, 18, 18 21. 21. Okay. Um, I will do three and two. Okay, so twenty-six. Okay. Twenty-six. There okay, you go. Thanks. Thanks so Thank you so much. Thank you. So this is a Gilly belt bag. Comps on eBay are like 40 to $50 for this, and it's basically brand new. It still has the plastic on the hardware. So it looks great. Yeah, this should, I, I'm gonna guess at least 30. So, and this was two bucks. Everything was really cheap at this yard sale. Fossil is a brand I look out for as far as their bags and their purses. They're good quality, always leather. These are sold at like high-end department stores, but resale is probably closer to 30, 40 when it's like a nicer style like this. Yeah, this should do great. This is just a couple bucks. And then this one took me a second to puzzle out, but I saw the duck and I was like, I think this is Dooney Canada and Burke. Goose. Not Canada Goose. Oh my gosh. This is Dooney and Burke. This is a tote, a, a nylon tote. The comps that I'm seeing on eBay are like, I see one for $70, $50. So I think this will sell well. It's in really clean condition. Also some Keds collab with Kate Spade. Glitter flats. These are cute with like the ribbon laces. Really clean condition. I think these will be like 30 bucks. Some Converse sneakers. Whenever I see these in good condition, I do pick them up. Just like the ankles. Again, 30 bucks maybe. These were only $3 and these are Sundance boots. They are motorcycle boots with like the four buckles on the side. I think these are cool, really cute, really good condition. These are at least 50 to $100. Because they're in good condition, I think I can get more. Yeah, these are cool. And then the last thing was this Wilson's leather, like military style. I don't pick up Wilson's leather all the time, but it's like a suede military jacket with the camo and the star on the back and the logo embroidered. Fancy. So because it's got all these features, I think this could sell for between 50 and $70. Cool. Yeah, want you, want you, yeah. Three for the D and Bs. Three dollars? Yeah, and then two for the rest. Okay, that's good. 
Okay. I am looking at it right now. So I'm a <laughs> I actually, That's when nice. I, when I list, I watch people. Oh yeah, so I do I'm too. Go to garage sales because most of the time I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you do. I'm just here to hold stuff. Okay. <laughs> okay. These are some vintage Dooney and Burke purses. Vintage Dooney and Burke can do really well. I, I mean, I paid only a few dollars for each of these, so really cheap, and they will sell for at least 40, I think, once I clean them up, make them look a little bit nicer. So that's great. They don't have like a crossbody strap. There is somewhere, so yeah, but still, they should sell great. So the garbage bags had a bunch of clothes, and it was 50 cents per item. So it was like a free for all, that's cheaper the than the bins, cheaper than the Goodwill outlet. This is the Nathleta full zip sweater, love Athleta. It is older, probably nine years old. You know, when it's like knit like this, it will still sell for at least 30 bucks. So that's great. Score. I found quite a few of these public rec pieces. Public rec is an active wear brand for men, sold at Nordstrom, retails for a lot and resells for a lot like Lululemon vibes around those prices. So I found a bunch of these pieces. So if you see this P, that's public rec. And these are all in a really good size, double XL. So that is fantastic. So I think these shorts will sell for 30. These are some men's Patagonia pants. These are cargo pants, a size 38. We love that in really good condition. This is a little mark that I was able to just get out just now. So not a stain. We love that. Yeah, Patagonia for 50 cents. These will sell for between 30 and $40 at least. Again, another public rec, long sleeve crew neck, really nice. So this should sell for like 30 bucks. Another public rec, this is a Henley 2XL. We love 2XL. Found this, this was I think the last thing I found before my GoPro died. <laughs> this is a brand called Sweaty Betty. It is an activewear brand made in Italy. Get excited when you see this because this retails for a lot. It's a very high end activewear brand. This is like a Ash might keep it for herself hoodie when it gets cold again. I think it's so cute. I have it listed for 50 bucks. We'll see what offers roll in, but 50 cents into 50. Yes. This is like my 50 cent haul here. Fast and Furious, Carhartt, 3XL, some Hurley joggers. These are in really good condition. Hurley is owned by Nike. So the Hurley, I mean, it doesn't sell for as much as Nike, but it sells great. 15 to 20 bucks. A couple pairs of Hurley joggers, same style. Some Nike NFL Seahawks Ooh. joggers. Shout out to Russell, what, Russell? Wilson. Wilson. Did he get traded? Oh, did he? He did. Just kidding. No. This is a Vineyard Vines. Love Vineyard Vines. Very quick and easy, 20, 25 bucks. Some Lucky Brand men's jeans. Lucky Brand men's jeans I pick up and sell faster more often than women's. I don't really ever pick up Lucky Brand women's jeans. Does this one say Lucky, lucky you? you? on the, this fly. Crazy. I picked up quite a few, I think I picked up about four pairs of the Lucky Brand men's jeans. As well as some Seven for All Mankind. I don't know how these will do. They were in like new condition. They're really cute. Y2K is coming back, the low rise flare. These are the Flint, so we'll see how the Flint sell, but for 50 cents, I should at least be able to sell this for 20 bucks. This is an outdoor, I think cycling or mountain biking brand called Mavic Ride Better XL. These are like 25 to 30 bucks. It's like a nice, again, a nice activewear brand. Seven for All Mankind men's. I do love picking up the men's standard fit. I like selling men's nicer jeans. They sell faster than women's generally. So they should sell great, 25, 30 bucks. So when all is said and done with that yard sale, all of those items that they sell for between 20 to $30, $25 on average, that's like over $600 from 12. Cause we got 24 or 25 items for 50 cents each. So that's a fantastic return. People often ask me like, why do you only focus on clothing? And this is why it's cheap, easy to sell, easy to list, easy to have returns, easy to store, easy to manage. I just, it's everywhere. I, I did for a long time collect anything that could sell for me. And I do occasionally, if it's a high end item, I'll grab it. My, my business has never been better for me personally. It's never been as efficient. I've never made as much. It's never grown this much since I have just focused on primarily clothing, shoes, and accessories with the occasional video game and book set thrown in. So that's kind of why I focus on all these things. They've just done well for me. I know them backwards and forwards and you can get them for 50 cents each and most people pass them up and think, 
I, I don't want to look through all that. A lot of people just think their clothes are garbage. Right. All right, there you have it, you guys. Another really profitable Saturday morning. It was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for all kinds of content about finding things that you can flip online. Take care, you guys, and I will catch you next time.